as I said in the other video, I can't for the life of me imagine why they would create a fucking digital camera. And again, it's not like it cost twenty or thirty dollars. It was a hundred. But okay, I can't for the life of me imagine why they would create a digital camera that has a movie feature. Yet you can't tell from where you're creating the movie if it's there's no light that flashes that tells you it's the movie's playing. So I could be talking and talking for no goddamn reason at all and not knowing that it had stopped. And I have to reach around to turn it off. I mean, not that that's the biggest deal in the world. I hate the camera anyway. I miss my Kodak C713. They don't make them anymore, and I didn't want to get used off of eBay or whatnot for obvious reasons, you know. These are really old cameras, and Lord only knows what you're getting if you have it in eBay. Um, anyway, I'm not going to talk for too long because it could shut off and I'd be talking for nothing, and that's just fucking annoying. That's why I'm not even going to get the light either. Um... My common sense tells me my fans must like how much clearer the video is. But I still don't know why it faded in and out a couple of times. That's just my cell phone not dying. Um, why did that, why did the cam, why did, this is a brand new camera, why did the video fade in and out? Is it because it's sucky? Did I mention I'm not keeping it? It's trial and error. But if I drop it, if I do anything bad to it, which means I better, if I decide to drink, I better not go near the camera. I better hide it. Um, I mean, say, how do you can hide it from yourself? I don't know. I can't my mother hide it. Because it's almost inevitable I don't wind up doing something to it and be out a hundred bucks. Anyway, I'm sure my fans like how much clearer the video is, even though it did fade in and out a couple of times. I don't know why that is. I never realized how much clearer a video my video could be. It's night and day, huh, compared to that old camera with the memory, the, the lens thing was going. And at one point, I was creating videos that had, um, you're not safe in here. They shouldn't even have you in here. Now it's clean out there. I'll let you in, but you have to be on my lap. And if I you know, one wrong move, if I just lose my train of thought, or if I doze off or whatever, you're going to hurt yourself jumping up on the bed with all that crap. So, I just spent a long time, I'm exhausted. From my home phone and from my cell, saving voicemails from my mom, as I do. <laughs> on the home phone, they, it holds almost 200, and it was full. It holds like 180 something, but it was full. And, you know, those messages go back over a year. Not on my cell phone, it only lasts 20. But I was just listening to music, my mom's crying her eyes out. Remember, I walked in there and she was on that the phone that the patients were allowed to use, crying her eyes out to somebody she knew about how I didn't come to get come to see her. I only made it there by the skin of my teeth because it's not like that that I can get there. And again, we hadn't been really getting along. I didn't even know if she wanted to see me, so I was giving her space when she gets in there because she's under duress. She's not happy. So she was in there on reg the regular hospital, you know, getting medically cleared, getting whatever on Monday. Um, and at that point, I didn't know she'd been automatically sectioned. I thought she was waiting to see what would happen and to talk to crisis, whatever. And that that was. And then I find out, no, it was a done deal. And I found out. They say one thing, she says another. And, and what are me, churchwoman, Selena, what are we supposed to think? If I tell my mom, I'm just, don't kill the, don't shoot the message, mom, I'm telling you what I was told. But that's not what happened. I wasn't there, I'm not a fly. I was, I don't, on the wall, I don't know. 
But if you doubt her, then she's going to think you you don't believe, you don't believe. Not that I don't believe you, Mom. I don't know what to think anymore. And I'm on the toilet all the time. You know what I mean? Listening to her cry right out. If I hadn't made it, you understand? I had no idea when they were going to find her. Monday was when she first got in there. Tuesday, I didn't even talk to her at all because she didn't contact me and I don't know what kind of conditions she's in. If she wants to hear from me, I don't want to agitate her, okay? If she was taken by the cops from the mall. She's traumatized, okay? So by the time I talked to her, it was on Wednesday. And you know, it's, I... I remember Monday was the holiday, too. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, Thursday was Valentine's Day. I'm say I'm losing my... But anyway, I, I'm talking here and don't even know if it's still going. That's so annoying. Why would it not have a feature where you could tell if the movie's playing, recording? fucked up. There's no indication that this movie is, is recording. I could be talking for no, nothing. So I'll make it short. Anyway. I save her messages. They're important. Trust me, they are so important. Those voicemails she leaves for me. They're so telling including the one where she's gushing about how the mental hospital doctor where she was in, remember, she got discharged just in a few days. That's never happened. Not to my knowledge. And as you know, I'm pretty damn up on it, even when she I was living in California, okay? She's not ever in there just for a few days anywhere, and certainly not over the past six years since I moved back to Massachusetts. Um... But he also, oh, she's gushing to me about how the doctor in there, how I, he reduced my meds and I'm going to be on less meds. He says I'm on too many meds. Uh -huh, Mom, I've heard it all before. You know when you get out, your psychiatrist in the outside world is going to be able to do whatever she wants. But she won't. She talked to him and everything. And, and then, this is the stuff that, 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 it, it's so sad, okay? This will be continued, because this is a story where I want to be more clear, as in, I want to look better, I want light, more lighting, if I'm going to use this fucking camera, so it has to be when I can do it, and she's sleeping or not home. I'm too angry. You understand? I'm not angry with her. I am, but I'm so, I have to get out of here. I don't have a choice. There is no choice anymore. You understand? I cannot take it. I can't live like this where I justifiably despise the people that are in her life constantly. Okay? Every time I turn around, it's something new. I couldn't, she couldn't even be back for a day before I was pissed all over again at those people, her quote caregivers, unquote. Who, of course, get to and always be believed as I wrote to some people online today, if I, you know, I'm, if they'll accuse me of trying to turn her against them when they are only out for her best interest and looking out for her safety and da 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 da, da and, you know, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, I'm leaving, so, I'm leaving because it's not good for my mother's 
fragile. She, her, she's fragile. It's not good for her fragile mental health. Me being there being such a rift, such just un and that was there was no way that wasn't going to be. You understand? They went behind our backs and sent elder services to my mother's apartment when she was well. And even her primary care physician didn't understand why it happened. And when we, I got to sit on that appointment, thank God it was me and not them. Um, I told him what what I knew and what you know, and and he was the only one who had the common decency to tell us the truth. My mom can't get the truth out of these people, but then she calls them her friends. Okay. It's like that Stockholm thing, you know, she has to be with them all the time, so she's going to be in denial. She's gushing. But he lo I have it, I have proof of it. He, he lowered my mess, he reduced my mess, he says I want too much mess. I said, Mom, it doesn't matter what he says, but, but he talked to her, she is going to follow it, yeah. Until he just, a mistake happened and he didn't send the prescription where he said he sent it. So the easy way out is to trick and deceive my mom and I actually called the pharmacist and I said, can you, he's like, I don't want to get involved with your mom and her therapist. I, th I said, no, just with her. We're the civilians. We're not the, the, the people who view themselves as God, okay? Um, just tell her that she's being deceived. Her psychiatrist decided because the, the they can't no one could get a hold of the mental hospital doctor who was so nice and he reduced her meds and he took her off his Zyprexa and put her on Prolix and pills. She's been on that regimen before years ago and it's a better regimen in terms of instead of being on three Depakote, Zyprexa and Prolixin. She's only on Depakote and Prolixin, because remember she gets the Prolixin shot. So if she's on Zyprexa and not Prolixin pills, that's three different medications, psych meds, and it's called polypharmy, okay? But her psychiatrist tried to tell her, and of course she always believes everyone over me, and that pisses me off to know it as well, that Zyprexa and Prolixin are the same. They're not even remotely the same. They're completely different, okay? And I knew.